That man walking away is David Apolito, that guitar man of Central Park. We have a great time here. This is the hill that we actually, uh, he actually stands right in this location right here. And we have a bunch of great people that you can see him with the, oh, he's, he's pretty far off now with his guitar. Anyway, uh, yeah, we have a great time here every Saturday in the summer. He has a big following, a lot of great people. And uh, I had to race here because I was watching my tennis, doing my work. And, uh, but I got here to the end and then uh, the storms are supposed to come in as you can see the skies. But it doesn't, right now it's not raining. So we kind of got worried you can't be playing, uh, like a, you know, he has, a, he has a equipment and everything and he can't be playing that in a uh, thunderstorm. So I'm gonna try to do this little Wimbledon day six uh, summary before I get rained on myself. And I just want to say that uh, first off, we had, uh, of course, uh, Nadell and uh, Sangha, and then we, of course, had Puri and Federer. And I really thought we were going to have two great matches. We had a possibility of two great matches. Uh, Sangha was definitely not uh, right in the body. I don't know. I think it was his back. It looks like I'm speculating on that, obviously. Uh, he was flat. His body was flat. I did not expect it because I. I didn't think he had played too much tennis coming in, and I thought he'd be okay, but um, nah, that wasn't the case. Um, and then on top of it, he hasn't had any big, uh, big match experience lately. I mean, he has tons in his life, but lately he's been a while since he's been in the spotlight again uh, due to injuries. And he has knee injury. Everybody knows about his knee surgeries, but his back has been an issue pretty chronic for a pretty long time too and I, today it seemed more like a back thing to me but it's, and sometimes when it's, people's backs are hurting it almost is like you know it looks like they're not trying or something uh, that happens a lot a lot of times people have chronic back issues and everybody's like oh they they just you know not giving an effort and song it looked like he wasn't giving giving an effort today but I, I i do believe his body was bothering him and but more than that i think more than that i'm not sure but it's all together, so I'm not sure, but his body, plus not any big time uh, match experience right now as far as the big matches, the big stage. He's kind of hasn't been on the big stage in a while. And then the other thing, of course, is um, Rafa Nadal, <laughs> and he's in form. So you put that all together, and it was just a, a recipe for disaster that I didn't expect. For Sangha to have any chance, he needed to feel good in the body, and he needed to have big serving. His serves were bad. He wasn't making first serves at all in the beginning. And he needed all that. He needed everything at his disposal. Then he would have had a shot. Uh, the grass is playing a little slower, but it's still taking the serve really well. So he would have had a shot, but he just, you know, he can't come in with a flat body and then have the nerves and the whole thing went down the tubes. Uh, then Pui actually came to play and Pui played really well, but Roger also played really well. And I already put up a video before some of the stuff for Roger, his aggressive variety is fantastic. He actually unnerved Pui at the end of the first set. Uh, it was really close. And then Roger just basically, you know, well, I have it in the video. He, he totally got Pui off balance and then kind of upset and frustrated. And then Pui totally let down in the second set. And then Roger let down again. Roger's been letting down a little bit this Wimbledon. And I think this time his body's feeling it. He's old, man. He's, he, you know, and he only played one tournament before, one grass tournament. But that, you know, he's, you know, we'll see what happens the second week. Hopefully um, he's looking good. He's playing the right way. I just, you know, the body just has to hold up. But uh, he let down a little bit, but it was just a slight letdown. And then he finished the deal at the end. And Pui played strong at, when he came back in the third set. But, you know, uh, I don't have to say one thing. Holly and... Uh, well, the exhibition, um, Hurlington that Pui played, he looked great at that exhibition, and Sangha looked great at Halle, but center court at Wimbledon is different than center court Halle in an exhibition match, obviously. And um, But again, I, I don't think Pui was much to do with, but I think his legs were feeling it, but that's normal right now. I, I think Sangha was about the body and the mind, whereas Pui was a lot of it like um, the mind. I mean, he, he, was, he really got played by Federer at the end of that first set, and it really bothered him, and then... By then, and he was down two sets. Before he knew it, he was down two sets. Love. Uh, the other matches, uh, they were. They looked like a lot of good matches today, but they really didn't pan out. Um, yesterday, the matches were much better. So um, Kukishkin won, and it was a tough. Uh, he had to play tough to do it, but he did. He won his match. Uh, he's a good grass, good slow grass player. Um, Schwartzman really fought hard, but Barantini came through in the end. 
I was wondering if maybe Schwartzman finally fatigued a bit there, but it looked like Berentini was the guy who was going to fatigue out, but he's, he hung strong and used his power and dictated to pull out a tough fourth set and then got the break in the fifth set and won. He's, he's had a great year on grass, Berentini. Um, Sloane Stevens is still not in her best form at all, and she won the first set, but she fatigues out a lot, and it's, a lot of it is mental and emotional, obviously, um, but physical too. I, I don't think she's always in the best shape, and you know, but it's but I think it starts mainly with uh, mentally, basically, um, confidence, but not just that, just a frustration. Uh, she's not in like I would say the happy place, and uh, Kanta had a little bit of a break or a pretty good break after the, all the clay tennis she did. And usually she plays more grass tennis coming in. So she was a little short on matches. You could kind of see it even in this match in the beginning. Just, you know, not her best, but then she really got it going. And then Sloan again fatigued out. And like again, more mentally, emotionally fatigued out. But a little bit physically as well at the end. And uh, Conte had the crowd behind her and everything. So uh, I guess that's basically a wrap. Evans and Sousa were playing. Uh, and I had to leave. Uh, Evans was feeling it in his legs, you could see it. And they were heading into a fourth set. Sousa also was feeling it in his body, but I don't know how that's gonna end up. It's gonna be interesting. If Evans can hang on, Sousa might start to crash in his body by the end. It'll be like a, a brutal fifth set. So I think Sousa has to kind of try to see if he can, uh, well, we'll see what happens. I'll have to do that maybe tomorrow.